Fingers, get low. Love it. Good play, boys. It's extremely competitive right now. These boys have been training their whole lives for this season and they are excited to get going. The compete level seems to have found a new level this year. A little bit of growth and maturity amongst the group as they get older. So the tempo is great and the competitiveness is very high. My name's Warren Cooper. I'm the head coach of the York Simcoe Express U16 team. I took the team over three years ago. U14, we had a fantastic season. OMHA Silver and OHL Cup Silver as well. And we were able to build off that first fantastic season and win OMHA Gold at U15. And we led that into the OHFs where we captured bronze. We have a very special group here and a lot of boys that are, are multi-sport athletes and enjoy playing two sports and do stuff in the summer away from the rink. We really encourage our guys to find that balance between playing hockey all year and doing other stuff in the summer. It only helps them prepare for the hockey season, which is long and grueling, especially at the U16 year. It's a good time to break sometimes to play a different sport, have some fun elsewhere. I love lacrosse because it's a really great team sport. It's all about team effort in both baseball and hockey. Communication in hockey and volleyball is very important. If you don't have communication, you won't do well. Moving your muscles in different ways in the summer can help prevent injury, it can help make you stronger. I just want to be a good, strong stay-at-home defenseman and be a good role model in the community. We spent a lot of time prepping for this season. We kicked off in mid-August where we did some team building stuff with some paintball and some pool parties. And we've done a lot of video sessions. We've had lots of exhibition games. We've had some guest speakers come in from the NHL to talk about what to expect with the U16 season and how to conduct themselves on and off the ice. The U10 mentorship program is something we're really excited about. This will be an opportunity for our U16 team to really lean on some leadership skills and really help mentor the next generation of York Simcoe kids coming through. On behalf of the U16 team, I'd like to welcome everybody to this mentorship program with you guys, the U10. So we're going to come out to some of your practices. We're going to come to some of your games. And each of you guys are going to be paired up with, with one of the big boys on the U16 team. So I'd like to get the U16s up here. And then we're going to have you guys call out your new U10 buddy for the year. Are you going to come watch me play? Yeah. All right, that sounds good. We're going to get you a goal. Clarington's a team that's going to compete hard and they've made a few changes this year so I suspect they're going to finish their checks and try to jam up the neutral zone so we're going to have to hit those challenges head on and hopefully capitalize on our opportunities when we get them. The players typically arrive an hour and a half before the game. We will then have a, a team stretch 50 minutes before the game. That usually runs about 15 minutes. And Danielle will spend some time with the players to get them ready before. And some of the other guys have their own personal routines. And then we have uh, defense and forward meetings about 15 minutes before puck drop. And then I'll address the team five minutes before to go over the game plan. Okay guys, couple laps here, game plan, let's be aggressive, let's respect it a little bit, let's see what they got first and then let's be aggressive and push the puck north. Shut them down, take away their time and space and then let's go back on the attack, okay? Let's have some fun today, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, let the puck do the work, we make plays, we make passes, get your head up, play, keep play. If they chase, they chase us all game. Bucks in our hands, we're okay. Okay, big place. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, can we raise the puck? Everything's got to go upstairs.
shots are 15 to 1. You guys got to get it up when you're in tight. Get some greasy ones, then it'll start to flow for us, okay? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Make a play. Back door. It's wide open. <sighs> for the victory lap, though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I stress over come. What for? Train in the trees, please walk in my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands and Still me sure, sure, seasons in the year, yeah. Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yeah, the champ is here. Switch good job, boy, good job. We keep me haters in the rear. At the blood, sweat, and tears, and my goal so near. I see my victory so clear. I see my victory so clear. It's a day. Hey guys, quick chat, we'll get out of here. Just because we won last year doesn't mean we're going to win again this year. You have to bring it. We need more jam. We got to get better up front and we got to have more passion to score goals. And if you guys look ahead to November, Barry, Peterborough, Quinty, Whitby, Oshawa, Barry, it's going to get really hard. It's late. Let's get out of here. We'll reset. Okay, Sunday, let's get better effort. It's got to be better. Tonight was a game where we, we had great possession numbers. I thought we carried the play for most of the game. Um, I would have liked to have seen our guys get to the front of the net and then capitalize on a few more of the opportunities. But I mean, all in all, I thought the compete level was good. So we'll move on to Sunday.